Hi, what's up guys? This is Brandon. I've been riding the MaxFine FF Belt and the MaxFine FF Street Series for about 6 months now on and off and I've used both boards. So I'm going to make a comparison video for those of you that are on the fence and not sure which one you should purchase. One of the main differences between these two boards are the motors. The FF Street uses hub motors and the FF Belt uses a belt drive motor. The belt drive motor used to be sought after the most because you could change out the wheels, but with current technology, and MaxFine is using this, the hub motors can now put on cloud wheels. So for this test, I have placed 105mm cloud wheels, so both boards have exactly the same wheels. Some people actually prefer the hub drive motor because it's slightly quieter, others want the belt drive for more wheel options. Another thing to consider with a belt drive board is that there will be occasional maintenance such as changing out a belt, but it's extremely easy. Now let's talk motor size. The FF Street is using two 750 watt hub motors. That's an advertised distance of 21 miles and a top speed of 25 miles per hour. The FF Belt is using two 1500 watt motors that gives a max distance of 25 miles and a top speed of 28 miles per hour, so twice the motor size. The FF belt is going to be much better going uphill and it's going to have much more torque. Both boards are using the exact same trucks and hardware and the decks are very similar. The only difference is the FF Street has a carbon fiber finish on it where the FF belt just has a matte black finish. The FF Street is using an LG 10S2P, it's a 6.4 amp hour battery. The FF Belt is using the Samsung 12.3 SP, which is an 8.7 amp hour battery. But both boards come with the great design of a swappable battery, so if you need more range with either board, you can easily swap out and place in another battery and just carry it in your bag. One thing about the design about the FF Belt board is where the belt drives are, you're not able to carry the board behind you on the ground with the handle. If you like to use the handle on the board, you should probably go with the FF Street Series because the motors are in the wheel, it doesn't drag on the ground. And lastly, the other difference is how you start and stop the board. With the FF Street Series, you have to turn on both the remote and then bend down and push the button underneath the board so there's two buttons that you have to press to get the board going. With the FF Belt Series utilizing the Hobbywing ESC, you're able to just push one button on the remote and it starts both the remote and the board, which is actually kind of nice that you don't have to bend down. And the price. There's actually only a $100 difference in the price. The MaxFine FF Street is $850, and then if you add the cloud wheels, it's an additional $100, so it ends up being the same as the belt. And the belt drive is $950 with the cloud wheels already. All in all, both are great boards and I still use both today. It really comes down to whether you want more torque and you need a little more power, then go with the FF Belt series. That's going to give you more top speed and definitely more range. Comment below and let me know which board you're considering. That's it. Thanks for watching the video guys. Have a great week.